Uh, this is the second question. Uh, it's about teaching. She says that I've studied Tajweed and the rules and the etiquettes of how to recite the Quran properly. She wants to teach this to other sisters in America. She says we find that many sisters don't know how to recite the Quran. Uh, she's a bit apprehensive about going on to this task. She feels a bit worried. Um, what should, should you do? Some advice here. Number one, there has to be uh, a person who uh, is a reciter mm -hmm. to listen to your recitation and approve you whether you could convey the message and teach others or not. There is a big problem with teaching while you yourself are not educated enough. This is uh, very, very dangerous, especially with the pronunciation of the Arabic letters. So if, uh, if you know a little bit, but you pronounce properly, and whatever you know, you practice rightly, in this condition, whatever is available is better than nothing. We say in Arabic, مَا لَا يُدْرَكُ كُلُّهُ لَا يُدْرَكُ جُلُّهُ mm -hmm. uh, If you cannot achieve it all, you do not leave it all. Mm -hmm. So basically, first of all, we have to know what kind of uh, level of recitation that you have, and if your recitation is proper, and you recite properly, and the pronunciation of the letters are correct in this case uh, it is recommended for you to teach those who do not who do not know at all because the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said balighu anni wa law aya everyone is required to convey the message as much as you can and as much as you know even if it is just one verse jazakallah